their CT setup. I remember that uh, Ascari over towards A was also grabbing a lot of information. He was pushing Palace, pushing A ramp. That came back to help them a lot within that. And, and Tudson on the CT side was able to find a bit more traction with that AWP. But we got 15 rounds before we can get there. We're getting into way here with map number two. And Innocent looking ready and ready to go. The buyers are coming on out. It'll be Julie's this time round for Snappy. A couple of flashes for Hades have been dropped across. There's one flash and a smoke grenade. And on the other side of things, it's four sets of Kevlar and Tudson's actually eco'd on the pistol. I like this. I like this a lot. Tudson hasn't invested anything. Get the money out for their AWP. Quick play into mid here for Anonymous T-sided pistol. D is going to see them hopping up in towards mid, but Madden is taking the first kill. Diha quickly positions back to jungle and deals with Veggie. Now goes back into the fight at Connector. Tudson actually beats him out in that fight, so it's still a 3v4. Within touching distance here for Anonymo, but with that kill of Sphinx, starting to look pretty rough for the Polish side. It's a 2v4 this time. Let's see if they can bring it back. Madden has taken down Innocent, so just Tudson left. He has upgraded into the USP for this, but they know exactly where he is. They've got him pinned, and they're coming in from all sides. So should die from vent room here, shouldn't he? He really should die from anywhere. He decides to peek uh, next. It really feels <laughs> he like can't he's go uh, anywhere. You're stuck in one <laughs> corner. <poor> kid. <laughs> Just pepping uh, away out there. All right, there we well, go. he's the only one to get a kill in the round there for Anonymo, and the first best round of the series that they haven't won. So uh, the 2-0 streak over there from Overpass comes to an end. Their fantastic stat line in that regard is unable to get them underway here. And, uh, well, I think that Tudson in the next round of play will be able to buy an AWP if Anonymo want to go for a full eco here and just rock around the server with the Glocks in hand. But a couple of crispy ones hit. Perfect stuff for Ents to get this one underway. And they will be taking the full eco out of Anonymo. We've left spawn. We're into round number two. And a real opportunity right now for Ents to just keep this one clean. Diha on that MP9 looking to farm up some magic. Oscarish. Taken down to 53. Ned goes after Hades, takes him down to 25 HP, but he's still come away with a double kill. Tudson and Veggie, victim all of him. Another push up from Oscarish into Snappy's MP9. Oh, he's jumped over the top. Snappy does react in time, is able to get the pick, and it's looking clean. Yeah, Glocks, right? The, what else you meant to say? It's, they are Glocks. They're a wonderful weapon. In the pistol round. In the pistol round, <laughs> and then probably never again. So uh, all in all, the clean 2-0 start for Ants now have been posted onto the board and that Tudson AWP will come out early here. Maybe that's one of the things that they discussed when they were outside having their conversation after the map one loss. Hey, we didn't even allow our players to have their preferred weapons on that T-half. We don't want that to happen again here on Mirage. We're going into a bit of a tech timeout here, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. So sorry about that one. We'll get this one sorted and, and back underway ASAP. But if you are just joining us here, this is a winner's game. The winner of this matchup will be qualifying themselves for the PGO Antwerp Major in a couple weeks' time. We also have uh, a B stream going on right now with Entropic versus Heat. The first map did go in the favor of the French team Heat on Nuke. And if you want to find that one, head over to twitch.tv slash PGO underscore CSGO. You can also head over to YouTube and type PGO in and you can find yourself the live streams, 4K, pause and all that good stuff. I know a lot of people like that functionality, right? You may be missing around. Maybe you, maybe you're watching Add yesterday. 4K. Well, maybe, maybe you missed out on Yabby's screamer, right? Where he gets that one tap onto this, and that you want to wild. go back and watch it again. So uh, you can do that over there. Yeah, it's pretty wild. Uh, I was watching that one, uh, <laughs> just in, just mesmerized really as to how that happened. My neighbors in the hotel are very loud, so when I watch the Counter Strike games in my room now, I just yell, try to try and keep up with them. I don't know why they're so loud. I don't know what they're doing, but uh, I've tried to be just as noisy as Maybe them. they're playing Counter-Strike. I don't think they are. I think I'm the only one on the sixth floor. Maybe they're doing other things, Chad. Could be doing other things. Well, it is Hades who is taking that first kill happily here onto Tudson. And the advantage picked up for Ents. And we'd have to talk about how important this round is for Anonymo. They've lost their first player in their gun round. And it's Tudson who saved from the pistol from the first round to get that gun in his hands. Yeah, well, I, I kind of just want to see them get some traction as far as frags go. Even if they don't convert the round, get a few players off these donuts they're starting to build right now. Tudson was the only one to get a kill on the pistol. They got completely blanked on their full eco. So with the AKs out, we need to show that potency here in the rifle department or this CT lockout is going to feel... Very, very scary. But look at Spinks. More than happy just to bide his time. We'll be smoked off now. Maggie pushing through towards Connector and caught by Madden. Well timed on the peak on through. And he reads the play back towards Palace, but Innocent is quicker to the headshot. Now the short play for Demo. There it is. Oh. coming out. Rap and oh, Hades and Snappy. They both go down in tandem. And it's now Spinks and Dihad left to try and pull this one out for Ents. And Hold'em have got themselves into a good position. Demo is coming out through Connector. 
Hasn't committed around the corner just yet to Spinks. Should actually maintain this position. Flash is not good enough, and Spinks will not be blinded by it. He's able to take that kill, no problem. And Innocent now swings from Palace to try and take this kill back. D has also been able to rotate into towards connector now and get into an AK. He wants to fight. Innocent, shoulder peeks out, sees the player in connector, and now climbs on top of default box. It's taken D hat out of commission. And Spinks, you know he's good in these situations, but one versus two now. Steps to be made, Innocent. Oh, that's what you love to see. Innocent with a three-piece. An influential point to their Mirage success. Yeah, beautiful stuff and great. I wanted to see a couple kills come on the board. Well, almost everybody getting one in that round. Just Veggie unable to get on the board just yet, but I don't think there'll be too many dramas for him. One of these bigger fraggers on the side of things for Anonymo as they immediately respond. Now, the buyback from Entz, no dramas for them in the purchase department either, but it started so well for them and then kind of crumbled apart here. Simultaneous frags over towards that A site coming on in and denying them the opportunity to stand tall over towards A. No AWP for Tudson now, but Hades definitely wielding one of those. Spinks the boost up and over and towards the vent room. Dehar to try and combo with him and Hades and Madden to lock down this A side of things while Snappy might be getting a lot of pressure coming his way. Four Anonymo members now up in towards the B apartments, lining up some util for a pop and go. There goes that pop. Molly sent out. Snappy sees what dropping out, but he's pulled into the open. He chases on that first player instead of fixating upon the second and now Innocent. He's come through with some big ones again. Two already found. At least Ents have been able to keep this one even. Denied. And the swing out from D has denied the bomb plant. And he's still standing his ground. He wants another one. Oh, very close to it. Five HP left and Oscar oh. oh, he's found another kill. Now he's up against Madden. He's got no idea, though. Doesn't know he's coming from short. He's already pushed on past. Problem is, he's nine HP here, Chad. So getting into a good position is essential. He can hit that instantaneous headshot. Oh, oh. oh reaction. <laughs> Madden missed a few. He was able to commit to the mouse one. And the body shots to the edge of the wall is enough to remove Oscarish. Had a real chance there, didn't he? Madden not connecting immediately. Made you second guess that whole situation. But three to one, an immediate response here. Back from Ensign. Round for round we go. This one is going to hurt a little bit more for Anonymo. Might be able to get some partial pistols up here, but uh, a good shot from Muscarish onto the second there, but just not ready for this maneuver of Madden, and you can see it there closed on out. Going to be a couple of deals, P250 and a Glock right now, and can they make this one threatening? Oh. They had a Tech-9 round in the early stages of Overpass that looked pretty good. They were able to cascade their way in towards that ace site. See if they can make the magic happen here. Is oh, going to be ahead of that smoke. Is Muscarish, he's taking guessing going forward, maybe towards the underpass, and... Innocent towards A as the other two reside top mid. So just stalling out, waiting for this U-Tilt. Maybe you're watching the Counter-Strike today. It is uh, Saturday. You've whacked it on the telly. You're having a bit of a midday viewing or mid-evening. It's a weekend. Yeah, well, what, whatever you're up to, let us know. Have a tweet, have a chat. So let's have a chat about this, chat. So we look at the teams overall in Group B side of things. Uh, and the teams you would expect to, to move through, players, Copenhagen Flames have actually got a legend spot now. G2, Astralis, Ents, NIP. Uh, but a team in Tropic, uh, I think, was another one that we could throw in the mix there. But they seem to be uh, struggling right now. Yeah, it's going to be a bit difficult for them. Even if they do go, well, if they go down to Heat here, that's it. They're out of the event. Uh, if they're able to trundle forward after the Heat game for either of those two teams, it's not going to be easy tomorrow. Nice shot from Demo there. I don't think this one's going to get interesting too much. And okay, unless they maybe. grab another. Okay, <laughs> Hades dead now. Trying to deal with this. Sphinx gets one and traded. So a two on two established now. Yeah, Madden's coming up through connector. His teammate from short. Smoke will go up in front of his face, but Madden's decided to play in front of it. Palace and Firebox set up. Flashes available. That is the only pieces of utility, but they found a lot of damage. Taken out demo now. It is just innocent. 9 HP up inside of Palace. Tap might just draw him into the open. One could be sticking in now. Should be realizing that stick is coming through. Innocent trying to take the shot on Snap. He's actually got it! Oh! Innocent! That is incredible. The kills come in, but it's frustrating for him. Just as well. Just after the time right there. That one is going to hurt. The fact that he didn't get that. Oh, Deagle to the diffuser so close, in time. But so close. Yeah, look what it's done, though. Look what it has done to the buy events here. That's so much damage in a round that really shouldn't have got out of control whatsoever. So the fact that they're keeping it competitive here, Anonymous, with this extremely light buy, they get the bomb down. They've done so much. Look, it's an MP9 for Snappy again. It's an org out for Hades, but the util is extremely light. Hades is glass cannon org. Yeah. Oh, okay. I guess glass cannon org's the new meta here. Tuts are dead. Trades on back. <laughs> Spinks has found another and more fights in mid. 4v3. Anonimo might just get another pickup. Short here, but so close to it. Demo will take Spinks. 
But elsewhere, his teammates are all going down, and just like that, Anonimo down to a single player on 23 HP again. It is frustrating. Last run comes down in a split second, just after the time, swings with a D. But Demo, he's not really in a position to compete here, Chad. Yeah, and Veggie yet to get a kill. You'd love to see him get activated soon. Now, the issue is I can sit there and say last round was really good uh, because the whole point is you can build off of that with a round win. And right now on 23 points of health, it does seem very difficult to see a round win coming out of this. If you can get another kill, they can still pressure Enter's economy and keep them under the thumb to some regard. But you would have loved to have gotten away with one of these, forced them down to the pistols, make them eco or force by. Now it's maybe just about getting the bomb down and Grabbing a cheeky kill if they can. Over towards Short Madden. Peering back now. I oh, he's definitely spotted him. The bomb. Not going to go on down. He's going to fake it on out and get cleaned on up. So uh, nice. Well recovered there. And after what could have been a loss to just some pistols, have consolidated with a consecutive. And this is a good opportunity for them now. Oh, Innocent uh, has immediately gone into an AK here. So he can buy. Demo could do the same. Scarish could... Get something in the purchase department here, but it's a timeout for Anonymo. They are just going to have a bit of a conversation about how they want to approach this. And when they found themselves in a, in a situation similar in the first half of Overpass, they actually, uh, in the second half of Overpass, they actually took a timeout and half bought. They didn't all in, right? They didn't all in when they could have with the Galils. And I think here, just as we can see these Tech Nines being bought up, they are going to do the same. Man, it's, a, it's a really rough start here for Anonimo. There's a lot of frustrating moments throughout this one, but as many I could say on the desk, you know, Ents are the better team. There's no doubt about it. They absolutely should be coming into a matchup like this and take the win and take their spot in the major. That should be the way th the story goes. Um, and we all sit here, we anticipate a possible Cinderella story, but the reason fairy tales are fairy tales is because a lot of them don't come true. And so we're now looking at Ents 5 and 1 up. Anonymo once again into a weak enough buy, but they're going to be starting up for an A execute off the back of this. So smoke should be coming out. Three standard ones There's should come the through. Here. But actually, it's a different look to it, and they're committing into this one. It is Hades taking out oh. two. D hasn't even been used yet, and Madden now gets to try and strike the back at triple. It's taken out very cleanly here for Ents. Just the amount of players he had in front of the smokes there, Chad, cancel out what, any potency behind that. Well, these last three rounds now for Ents feel like they've got easier and easier, and that's yeah. as uh, varying buys have come on through. When you've had Flank full around. AKs, yeah, when you've had just the upgrades, and uh, here you've had a bit more of an investment across the board. So this is starting to really get away from Anonymo now. Six to one scoreline, only one opening frag and all of that. Yeah. We it's need rough to make you, a change, yeah. It's rough when you have the, the other player that was fragging really well along Innocent inside that G2 game was Veggie. And he's yeah. on zero kills right now, as you pointed out. It hasn't changed. So it has been a very slow start here for Anonymo, individually speaking. But there was a half buy in that round. It wasn't the full investment. And now they committed the full buy with the AWP up for Tudson. The rifles around it and Utility. Oscar is going to charge his way into the mid fight early there. on. He's seen a lot jumping out the window. But actually dealing with it is another story. Swix has taken one. Hades actually gets traded out by Innocent. So we're back in a 3v3 at the start of the round. That's not bad for Anonymo. They can play with this. Hey, he's got a lot of value out of that, but look at this push from Madden here. That's he wild. might just stop them immediately. He's going to peek them. Hello. He's going to fight them. And oh. they're looking for him. Oh, Madden. Very lucky. He thought he was going to go down without a single kill there, but he has seen all the information needed and takes one kill. So it keeps it at the 2v2. Anonymo now is starting to figure out, okay, they've seen us towards T-spawn. Do we go back B? Do we go into the mid play? And they've decided the mid play is the call. And it's a bit of a gamble here from Ents. They're actually playing two over towards B. You can see Diha hoping that they come up and through the window position and Snappy locking down the B apartments and they're actually going to slink their way up through connector. So in this two on two, there's a bucket load of utility still to deploy here. Oh no, if they walk in towards window, that's oh, where Diha's waiting. Diha. This could be the perfect read. This could be the perfect read. And the perfect position to what deal with it. What an off angle this is. Mm, this is so good. He's going to see one. The life. Ooh, doesn't actually pulls his knife out of the initial kill and we'll get traded out. So that gives Demo a little bit of a second wind into this round. He's going to run over towards this site. Has smoke, two flashes, an itchy. Snappy's going to be smoked off surely. No. No, he's going to be playing on the triple. Snappy's instead going to throw his net deep Bang. on towards Demo. It's taking him down to half straight away. Position should be confirmed here for Snappy. He knows he has to be behind triple. With that smoke, he has to be at the back of his head. He's created a corridor to play towards CT. So Snappy knows that he has to just isolate them into a couple of fights. As soon as he clears triple, he can now focus on CT. Uh, Snappy's in a good position here. He's going to smoke onto the bomb. Here. He has actually lost him. 
And that's a little surprising. And oh, Demo is going to close it. Snappy losing him in that situation is a bit surprising, though, Chad. Yeah, I, I think because of the gap in the smoke, maybe that Snappy wasn't even trusting the fact that he could have gotten away. And it was that perfect moment in which Demo gets over towards spawn right there. So you can see just struggling to piece this one together. And well handled, all things considered. Hades got a lot of value out of that orc for the rounds that was invested in. Those trades were very, very good. And the heads up play to kill d -Hut and immediately rotate towards A to piece it together, knowing that Snappy is more of that B anchor. And they weren't doing something a little bit strange. She's yeah. just hightailed it straight on over towards the opposite side of the map here. But double orbs is the immediate response right now from Ents. One for Sphinx, one for Hades. A couple of M4s and a shot oh. here for Hades is going to land. That's a big opener to get them back in. And they know that there was one orb on the other side of the map. They're not taking space quickly elsewhere. And fortunate for them, because if they did, they might have run into that Sphinx AWP, which is over towards Ticket. I was watching Oscar. He's just charge his way towards B, trying to find that opening. And Hades just peeks into him. It's a rough start. But Ents are going to hold it. How do Anonymous find their way back into this? They're spread out at the moment with plenty of time. Well, time's the one thing they do have. And Nissan is relinquishing any space over towards A. Going to backpedal up now. Demo top middle. Veggie in the underpass throwing out some mutil. And it looks like they're regrouping towards B. And they're assuming that the orb will have repositioned. And that assumption is correct. But just back towards market. He hasn't tucked tail. I swear, but Demo's taking some space in Connector now, and d mm. might be that first port of call. Yeah, it's going to be this B setup to play in towards Hades and, and leave Demo to try and get the flank going. Oh! oh, that's a big shot from Demo. Does the signal to go B come through yet? Hades now spotting them out. Flash is perfect. Gets Hades off the angle. He's in trouble. Now Anonymo into the site, overwhelming the AWPer and getting him out of the round. Veggie now taking up control of the market, and the second AWP is coming back to play here for Sphinx. No extension around the corner, but he's holding for it. Waiting for the peak. There's no reason for Anonymo to do so now. They've got the bomb down on the site. Innocent trying to fend off the retake attempt from the apartment side of things. He does have the help of his teammate watching Market, so he can focus on this position. Saving. And Sphinx has called it off. No opportunity came his way. And they're calling this one a done deal. Anonymo worked their way into the round. Yeah, very, very fortunate stuff right there. If Sphinx pushes in towards the market, Veggie in that position just kills him dead to rights for sure, up towards the shelving unit. So really, really good stuff out of this one. That's after giving away that opening pick towards B. So taking care of business. Anonymo now will strike back. Will get themselves up to three. But Innocent creeping ever forward. Madness just around the corner here. He's just going to make sure he's out of the, that bomb radius. Tucks on back and holds on to his goodies. But saving three right now for Ants allows them to at least be a little bit more threatening into the next round of play. But this uh, grinding nature of Anonymo's T side now is starting to find something. They've found two consecutive. Can they make it three? The scores on the doors are a little bit concerning. Tudson with one and Veggie with one. Now, Veggie got one in that round right there that helped them convert, so a good kill for him. But Tudson got that first frag on the pistol round. It's really been Innocent and Demo, 11 and 7. And then you've got Skarish with five, so middle of the pack. I need to get, uh, I think, at least Veggie activated here based off what we've seen from him so far. They will be able to get the purchases on through. An M4, an MP9, an AK. And Madden, with an, I think it's another MP9 on mm. the ground there for him to pick on up. If you to buy your tickets for the PGL Major, you can do so now with a QR code on screen. Join us in Antwerp to get the party started. There's lots of teams locked their spots in. We're now down to the final few days to see the other rosters that will be going there. Anonymous versus Ents, one of these two teams will be heading there at the end of this best of three. Tudson, AWP, back in his hands. He had a rough time the last time he got this out. He's going to be over towards A looking for the early pick. And at least the difference is here, he's at least stayed alive. If they do head towards A, it is right now just Madden over towards this balcony position with the MP9. And they're creeping ever forward. Madden has two choke points to worry about. Currently, the balcony smoked off. And well, has a teammate over towards Connector of Dihar to help him on out here if things do start to get a little bit hot and heavy. Now that Madden's starting to relieve his position, What's Palace? He's bringing the MP9 to play from default. And Anonymo have a lot of utility, but they haven't used any of it yet. And I don't think they feel like they need to right now. That peak now finally getting info. That was the problem that for, for Enstead. They weren't finding the info they were towards ramp. And now that they've seen it, Anonymo are just calling to go. Flashes go up. It is Madden playing from default, trying to rattle it away with the MP9. The first blood of this round will go Sphinx's way, and Ents have it. But Demo's pulled it back. A quick dive into a sandwich has caught Madden in his position. Hades had a shot there. He's Oh, he's got a lot of opportunities, but he hasn't been able to land it yet. And Anonymo now deploying utility towards him. Hades still goes back for the third time of asking. This time gets the pick. Quick play towards CT coming forward for Snappy. 
And P9 looking in towards the site. Shots will land. Sees one up on the stairway. Innocent taking off the top of the stairs. And Demo starts to put some damage down towards jungle. Enter finding the picks, putting Demo alone. And they will come in from so many different sides. Anonymo never made to feel comfortable into their post plant there. Yeah, look good once they take Madden down. It feels like they've got control, but there was so much utility deployed towards jungle, but just not a smoke. So the AWP could just post up and managed to pip them there and be able to get one on back. And the retake was nice. I, I think the Ents knew that they had to have a bit of quickness about that. They didn't have a yeah. defuse kit bought into the last round. So that's something that they knew going into that retake. They needed to take those fights quite quickly. And it will force out a timeout here from Anonymo, calling their second so far within this second map of play. There's enough money to buy. That isn't the question. It's what the approach is going to be. Maybe they're hoping that the distraction on A would have drawn enough eyes, but definitely drew some eyes in his direction. And some great shooting out of Dihar here. Alongside of Sphinx to get this one done. Getting fired up now is Madden. Just a couple more rounds, really, away from qualifying for the major. Very good looking first half, and they've even retained this double orb setup. Oh, update from the B stream. Currently 9-3 to three Ooh, for Heat over okay. in Tropic. That could be a big win for the X double pony boys. That's uh, Body, Jocko, Lucky, Exercise, Exercise. and uh, yeah, Afro. <laughs> Incredible. Yeah, exercise. that's a that's a team that been on people's radar for a little bit. It feels like a long time course, now, yeah. doesn't it? But here we are, a chance for an ornament once again. Back to rifles. They've got themselves into some close positions. That last round wasn't one of them. Madden puts the smoke down in Palace. It might spoil their party, but it looks like the A execute coming in here for an ornament. Hades can be smoked off here quite easy, so he might have to drop out that. Lurk smoke that these AWPers have been doing over towards the triple box to try and play behind to give him something to work with here. A little bit worried about the flank, but it's not coming. Smoke's now deployed and it's about the apartment's position with three up the ramp. Here they go. Hades has tossed the smoke himself to play with and he will play towards triple. So he won't leave Madden out to dry alone. The AWP will commit to the site. Madden now deals with the ramp, play forward. Hades helped him out towards ramp. And another shot from Hades picked up. He threw his AWP down on the ground. He's picked it up. He was able to get away with oh! one. And Hades, that was quick to the shot on Innocent. And Veggie now coming out of Palace. He's trying to fight so Huge many angles. Round. But Hades, what a round. He drags them down to the underworld with him. What a great time to show up from Hades, right? We talked about his struggles so far. You know, he's been one of the lowest rated players for entering this tournament. I think in these last two maps, he's shown what he's got. 16 kills now total. I don't know how that one didn't show up as a nose scope right there. Master well, got to the quick scope quick? just in time. Yeah, and accidentally dropping out the <laughs> orb. Donating that one over. Yeah, all that right. That is so ridiculous. Very far shot there onto Innocent. Taking care of business is Hades. We need to get the slow-mo guys on that one to watch that back. That is, that is filth. Well, that's going to hype you up if your Hades around like that. Always gets you in a positive mindset. That's two back-to-back -back A setups now for Donovan going the wrong way. They're down to a weak buy again. Charged their way up towards bench. Sphinx under a bit of pressure. He's Drop. got help. He has got help of Maddox. They should be all right. And every time I say that, then the pistols <laughs> manage to chip away and make it seem like more of the interesting rounds. But I think Sphinx and Dio have had enough of that silly business. Madden wants to chime on in too. And the woes continue here for the likes of Veggie. Still only one kill for him. And it's just night and day from that performance we saw from him against G2. They were able to find so much space. They were able to get themselves into lots of clutch situations. Really, really turned the game on its head, but now it is just one man demo posted up and over. Bullet will ring on out. He's now noted, and look at how quick they're coming over to find these eeks. Eco Cobra's out to play. Yeah. Madden gets the last, and nine to three. This is a great half now. Look at the money here for Anonymous. At least they'll get the buys out, but the problem is in these last two gun rounds, they haven't really shown too much uh, about them. They've gone for back to back executes, haven't worked out at all. I was speaking to Ants about, you know, there's always been a a talking point for me is like understanding the culture in the team. Obviously, they're from so many different nationalities, mm. right? But the culture just seems incredible in the team. It, it's kind of crazy. They all get along really well. Their personalities mesh together, and it, it, they just look like they're having a good time in the server. And that's, uh, that can often go a long way if everybody's on the same page and enjoying themselves. Nine to three, they'll be enjoying themselves right now with this scoreline. They're pushing in towards Ram Chad. Yeah, well, this is difficult to break right here for Innocent. If he drops on down. Madden should be able to hear that swing on out, get the fight. If he just peeks on through, Hades with the AWP. He's looking hot at the moment. As we say, how powerful the setup could be. They will backpedal. I mean, Madden to deal with the apartment's position now. And well, it is just a very slow default here from Anonymo. Not wanting to take too many risks, not wanting to give much away, allowing this early util to be dispelled. You just see one with a little blue line of a smoke landing front connector here. This is to keep Deha in position. Can peer on out over the top of that, make sure that nobody's creeping up through the 
Underpass, keep him very cheeky. And also those question marks slow Anonymo down even further. There's a flash. A little bouncy flash. Here he's forced away from it. Shots are ringing out and Innocent now dropping back. But the no-way ramp's clear. So even though he threw all that U-tool, it means absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing whatsoever. It doesn't really scare them off too much. And here they come up through connector. It's Deha's turn. Deha, the ready. Oh! oh! He was ready, but Demo just takes his head right off his shoulders. Now Madden turns at the wrong time. And Innocent has got him around the backside. It's a kill confirmed. Elsewhere, Tutson had picked up one. Now Hades from the side. Oh, nearly delivers another second. That would have been brutal if he was able to get up for a pick there, but Snappy, the last player remaining, trying to get oh. into this one, and Snappy has drawn himself into the one versus two. Decides to chance. go to the rifle. Oh, oh what? Okay, Veggie now giving him a chance. Oh, that was wild. That was that was utterly wild from Veggie. If he goes down, Snappy has a real opportunity to win that round. And almost should have gone down there. Almost felt like he had to play wide with that Molotov because it would have been flushing him deeper into what that, was that sandwich. <laughs> that demo shot was crazy, right? That was a big way to open that one up. That Molotov, I don't know what that was all about. But Snappy almost making it around to this, ready and raring for that fight onto Tuts. And this one here, right? You're having to take a little bit more of a fight there from Veggie. But all good. Able to get themselves four now confirmed. And a timeout here back from Ent. So they need to win this one or they're going to have no cash to fight. And that means Anonymo could get themselves a 9-6 half, which considering how this has gone so far, we're pretty good. 9-6 on the nose for Anonymo. We have a very, very competitive game. But an 11-4 the other way, feels like Ant's are only going to be moments away from closing this one. Yeah, if they are able to pick up six rounds at the half, Anonymo, I will be incredibly impressed at how they've been able to get back into this because for the most part it felt like a easy first half here for Ents. Easy for Ents, of course. Um, but Anonimo, they do have an opportunity and they realize that. Mirage map they're proficient on. Quick walk out here from Demo. He's going to throw the molly in towards Connector. Flash will go out into mid itself and Demo then crosses behind the top boxes. Some control at least taken for Anonimo towards me, but it's going to be this beat can't bite. go down here, Demo. That nade might oh. be good. Look how much damage is He's done. He's eating that one. Yeah, 10 HP remaining, and they're going B. They're coming into the B site, and in the Snappy, and Sphinx, the combo, looking to shut it down. And Sphinx with one, and that's it. Snappy can't get a single kill. So this is fantastic for Anonimo. And look at the underpass play from Deha. It's being held. Demo is at the ready for it. Problem is here, Demo is so low. He's on 10 HP. So if a body shot comes in quicker for Deha, or any shot really, it's going to be the kill and it will come through. Deha picks that up. Now. They got kids. Oh. Oh. Yeah, that position from Tuts is not when you're really going in pre-clearing, is it? Plays in the ninja box. Hades decides AWP is too expensive to throw away. You mentioned the money troubles, Chad. Well, you can't really go for this one. So it has to be the save call. And this is great. A, a real opportunity now for the Polish side of Anonimo to get themselves six. Five definitely confirmed. These two rifles saved on through. It's only going to be 1,900 as the loss bonus into the next, so not a whole lot of cash to splash. And Hades will deny another. Snappy and Spinks do actually have enough to get themselves into M4. So not going to be too bad. It's just going to be mad in there a little bit lighter on, and maybe Deha wants to hook him up with the Famous. So this buy is actually going to be pretty tidy. Pretty tidy indeed. It will be the Famous drop from Deha over towards Madden. So I thought there might be some more problems in the buy department, but no, no, no. They're actually going to be very competitive here, and it's going into... The final round of this first half of the second map. Snappy thinking he should have at least got one there because Spinks was able to chip on in, just not able to connect the dots. And here we go, here we go. Quick window smoke out to play. Demo top mid again on his lonesome. I think they want to rinse and repeat the same type of a play here. So this mid fake demo, he spotted the legs right there, tucking back through the smoke. Oh, and if they go B, there's just one player B. Yorps in connector now as well, and Demo's actually got underneath the scope. Hades going to go down here, surely. Oh, Hades is out. Oh, gets away. Hades reacts, misses the shot, and the peak on in. Ooh. And oh, Demo nearly transfers Coming down for B. two. And it is going to be that B play acceleration. Snappy needs to do better this time. Wasn't able to get a single pick, but this time it is stronger between him and Sphinx. Just Tudson left. The big clutch needed on the way out the door, and he's not able to muster enough power to get it done. 10 4 ends in the first half of play. They are now six rounds away from qualification to the PGL Major. Okay, well, this now is going to come down to the pistols, and we've spoken about this all throughout the series. How strong in this tournament so far pistols have been for Anonimo. They've only faulted in one so far out of the three they've played. This would be a very good chance right now for them to pick up a pistol round and get back into those winning ways. Now, this CT side, we, oh, we've been talking a lot about how you know influential Innocent has been. He's going to need to be a lot more of that here. 
I think uh, it, it's a chance now for Veggy and Tudson to start coming online. Scarish as well. And this CT half is where a few of those names definitely started to do some of their better work in their Mirage game against G2 just the other day. But siphoning through the utility here, a couple of smokes and flashes left on the ground that will be scooped on up. A window smoke immediately deployed. It's going to be one player of Scarish towards Ticket. You're going to see pushing in towards the site of Innocent, and they're going to flash themselves out mid. A deep connector smoke, and they're actually running down towards A here. Yeah, running up through a car, and Tudson's going to see everybody. Not actually been able to do anything about it. Does sprinkle a little bit of damage on the way out, but it will be tasked with the players inside of the site to get something out of this. Still a player inside of the firebox is Innocent undetected. Oh, swings out into Hades, and the headshot is so good. Finally a kill back for Oscarish, but there's still a lot more to be done here for the retake. Matt is playing on top of triple, sees the heads. Now they know where he is, so they have to worry about his positioning, but there's so many players you have to think about. And so that sets up Madden and Hades to just take some headshots. And Veggy now getting flanked as well. Spinks is around the back side, starting to display some damage. And Spinks will make that Glock look fantastic. I think that's something that Spinks actually done a great job at in this tournament, it's making the Glock look good. Yeah, not, uh, not faltering. Look, we do talk about players shooting in pistols in the back of the head. Doesn't always go to plan right there, but good stuff. For Spinks Aruni and uh, a couple of P250s were in the mix right here. You get to see both of them finding damage. Deha and Hades with a couple of big ones. And this one here, I, I love the way that they use that deep connector smoke or get themselves up through that connector position. A bit of frustration here from uh, Tudson not being able to hit the shots he was looking for. And uh, Anonimo do love the full ecos. We're about to stomach another one here. This should be, without a doubt, the conversion for Ents. How does this one go wrong? There's not even a flash in play. It's just going to be the pistols peaking after the smoke starts to fade. And oh, another one's lobbed on in. So good luck. Gray screen stare at that for another 20 seconds. I and don't swallow know. a massive HE. <laughs> could it get any worse, really? Well, it could. You could actually have Snappy run into you with a Mac 10. That could probably get pretty dicey. And that's what's going to happen. <laughs> they run into him. Snappy holds down M1 and gets himself four kills from it. Snappy often the uh, SMG farmer. And he'll do a very good job at that. 12 to 5 now. It's four away. Good start into the second half, but here comes the pie from Anonimo. Worst weapon for them to run into right there as well, right? Gets them all the money. one of the AKs. It's, uh, Snappy had so much cash. I was questioning whether he was going to drop an AWP across into the hands of Hades here, but they want to operate with majority rifles. Dihar's going to be using his Mac 10 And maybe, just maybe, they want to keep this one fast. High in here for Anonimo. They've got up the M4s. Enough nades to work with, no kit if the bomb does go down into these post-plant scenarios here, so keep an eye on that. Oh, establishing some mid-presence, but using a lot of their nades to do so here in Nonimo. D has actually spotted that on the jump, so that information seems to have gone, gone both ways. Demo isn't jump peeking back on in and just starting to piece this one together with quite a passive stance across the map from Ants. You can see Snappy on the jiggle and over towards Spawn is Spinks, quite literally in T-spawn, just smoking over towards the mid-window now and dealing with any of those A pushes. So, looking very likely to be, I was going to say, a, a B play here, but they're going for mid-control with a minute 10 on the clock. This round is so important for Anonimo. They lose this, they're down to a weak buy again. Answer up to 13 rounds, maybe even 14, and at that point, recovering this and staying alive in the series becomes so difficult, almost unthinkable. So Anonimo need to hold strong here. And starting to regroup and think about the B play. Jump spotting his demo. Short is the setup of his teammates. His support network is that. And Madden going through the underpass to apply some pressure towards Connected, but Ants oh, well smoke. going to have to sit behind that. They might go through it. Oh, they're going to go with the flash. Oh, I love that from Deha straight away. Opens it up. Now they charge on in, but Veggie and Innocent are doing a very good job at holding with the utility. It betrays Veggie, pulls the nade out, and now Madden in position, cuts off rotations. Oh, no. It's all crumbling here for Anonimo. It's into a 2v1. Innocent left to do everything. He barrels through the molly, but he's down to 17. He's taking so much damage from this. He's got close up short, though. And this might separate him into the 1v1s. Innocent has got the first pick. But Madden plays from bench. And that wasn't the position he was in just moments ago. So the calm is lasting jungle. Lasting towards jungle. So surely he thinks about market. But Madden is very intelligently repositioned. And he'll wrap around the backside. Not a thought in the head of Innocent that he could be playing from there. And Ents will close another round. The trading was good on the side there from Anonimo. Even though Diha makes it through the smoke and does get that kill onto Demo. But just not to be enough. Tudson trying to stop the bomb going down. Takes a bit of a risk, gets himself into the site, unable to convert that kill. And once he dies, it just leaves it all on Innocent here. 13 to 5 right now and a mountain to climb as they will force in with a couple of deagles. They've left enough cash on over for a buy into the next route. 
But uh, Anonimo right now are going to have to make quite the comeback to keep themselves in the game. Oh. And that right there is a way to kick it off. I think Innocent, he's had enough. That's just a mid-pick. Uh, just a mid-swing out the window and a 1D from it. Uh, another one from Innocent. All right, this could get very exciting if Innocent starts to land a few of these in this round. The he's found two Hayes already. was with an AWP. Yeah, <laughs> he beat him. He beat him with a Deagle versus the AWP. Okay. All right. Well, we were talking about how they need to make some comeback. This is the chance. Another one. In, innocent. Try again. Why not? Just send it. Make that blaze work. He's got his teammate close here of Oscarish. He has a chance, but D has shreds him open. Innocent's going to play from default. Nade lands right on top of him. Here comes the Molly as well to force him into the wide fight. He's hit the shot, but not enough damage to bring down Diha. Diha, the destroyer, and Snappy still alive in this one. But there's three players up for Anonimo, and Diha is so low. A pistol could take him down with some body shots, even that Mac 10 as well. Diha's not in a position to really take risks, so has to use the cover and really try and land some of these headshots. They're still pinned here. They're still pinned at Tetris. Well, they could drop back if they're quick about this, and they maybe even oh. change the weapons across here because Snappy has this AWP. They are going to swap guns out. Diha with Bogdan's lore, and that's forced to rotation. Immediately, Anonymo have to respect this. They've just sent through the underpass. Tudson looking for this, trying to cut this off at the pass, and he will, but he's removed from the pack over towards window. Veggie's going to have to linger, and that just means it's Demo tucked in towards Ticket. They're allowing them in. They've rolled out the red carpet. Come and plant, they say. Flash is set up. Now the shot from Veki brings down Diha. It is only Snappy left in a one versus three. And as soon as he plants, there should be a swing and it will come out. It's assassination. It's a round for Anonimo and Innocent gets them into it early. Well, that could be retussitation? Uh, resuscitation right there from Innocent. As, uh, <laughs> we're making up words over here today. I like that one, Chad. That's retussitation. A, that's a good word. Yeah, they're tussling back in here. But uh, Innocent with two massive shots. That is one way to get the team back into the play. So we've had three out the gate from Ents. The bounce back on this lighter buy, just the deal upgrades for Anonimo. We'll get them their first round here on this CT. And that's the shot that you saw top mid just there and the second towards the ramp. So really, really good stuff. Coming out of Innocent here to make an interesting round where it really shouldn't have been. That should have been a gimme for a, for a 14th. And it is just Innocent, 17 kills. The next closest on his team is going to be 11 of Demo and trying to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the other side. Hades with 23, 17. For Madden here, 15 for Deha, 14 for Spinks, and 12 for Snappy. So, well, the score tells the picture, but so does the scoreboard. As here's another little update from our B stream. 12 to the good over the nine of Entropic. Heat uh, just four rounds away from picking up that series in a 2-0 fashion and knocking Entropic out of major contention. Yeah, it's been a very rough showing for Entropic, a team that we had expectations for. And drop the ball here in Bucharest. Set up coming in here for Ents. It's a quick one out of spawn. Smokes landing in towards the A site for the standard A execute. Snappy's out towards Tetris. And it's smoke behind. And Snappy's getting some ground here already. Ents in a good spot. Tudson, though, has taken out Sphinx. That's the Palace player down. Snappy commits into the site. There's no stair smoke up there, right? So he's been able to get away with a pick. Innocent forced into it. Now we're down to the 4v4. Are they going to back off? Or are they just going to stick with this here? Because the rotation's in from Anonimo. They want to fight. They're going into this. Demo is pushing forward. He's beyond the flash, but still, Demo will hit the deck. Madden oh. swings on out. Oscarish swings with a double kill. And Snappy on top of the stairs is knocking them down. It's just Veggie left. A one versus two up against Madden and Snappy. We found one already, and it was a fake plant from Madden. He hasn't committed to it. And Veggie knows what side of the site he was on. A quick relocation here from Veggie. He's hopped out the window. Down in towards Connector. Looking for the peak from short. And Veggie with some quick movement is able to remove Madden. Well, I think Madden had no idea that he had gone that far around the world. He was expecting a fight much closer than that. Worrying about losing him in the thick of the triple box right there. But that one is a big clutch to win. And two impactful rounds back to back here. For the Polish side of Anonimo, the Deagles were great. That clutch is better. And now maybe just throwing uh, at least a little bit more time on the clock as far as this game. 13-7. to seven. The plant did come on through. They were able to get themselves a little bit more cash in towards the bank balance here to get at least an AK out. Are they going to force by with the rest? It doesn't look likely. Lost bonus is starting to build right now. But that, uh, you know, we talk about chances. That was a chance for Ents to get themselves up to 14 pretty easily here. Yeah, absolutely was. Madden's on the AK. Out towards the mid fight. It's worked, and he's got himself the opening pick. Maybe making up for last round. Tutsa's pushed deep in the apartments here. Look at this. AWP's pushed all the way down through B. And the Sphinx is coming back here. He's got the bomb on his back. 
Oh, unscoped. Hudson very lucky to get out of there. But a nightmare situation was about to ensue there for Look Tudson. Look at this space from Deha, though. That no one's accounting for this. Yeah, he's actually got his way all the way up. Connector takes Not that really first base. Not ready for it at all. Draws Veggie into it. Luckily, Veggie does reply. If he didn't there, that's a big problem. But they left B during B is all open. of this. Yeah, B's open for them to dive into. Dem was trying to hold the cross off. He's done well to take out Snappy. Commitment to the plant now for Ants. Oh. Demo just assassinating them again. This time, oh, so clean. Demolition once again as Hades dives down. Deagle into the clutch and won't be able to find the head of Veggie. A reply from an Onimo. A retake of the site. Does get a bit scary there as Ants did come in with a weaker purchase. The bomb plant's going to bolster that economy going into the next here. Yeah, it's sketchy, but it's it, it, it's still great from Anonimo to pull this one through, right? They continue to mount rounds now, three consecutive. This The type of game that we're seeing right here fills you with the feeling that, oh, it's only a matter of time until Ents break through. But if Anonimo keep posting rounds like this, if they keep snatching the victory from the jaws of defeat in some of these scenarios where they're down and out, their buys aren't as good, they're winning clutches, they're able to pull back number disadvantages like we've just seen again. The conversation can start to change here. This one isn't done yet. Ants fans can't be celebrating too early. Still three more rounds to find. And they can break Anonymo over their uh, knee here if they are able to pick up a round and no saves come on through. But they need to get one. Well, Vicky plays up on the booster position of short as head. He's run boosted out. Dodges all the early flak damage that he was anticipating from window. Vicky, this is a strong position, but can be peaked from bench. But he has the vantage point of two, and he lines both up. Vicky takes down Madden and Deha in one swift movement and disappears away from the spot. Yeah, well, now it's Ensa's turn to try and respond in one of these number disadvantages. And with this type of a lead, sure, it's a five round game right now, but they. Surely can't be considering a save just yet. A minute left on the clock. The bomb now starting to find its way up through Connector and not too far behind is Hades. But look at Snappy taking some space. This time it is being accounted for from Scarish, but still ne will need to win this fight. On the cusp of the stairs, the A-ramp pressure to come and they're just going to try and go wider on the angle here. Scarish easily lines them up, knocks them down. A double kill for him and that should be it. Unless Spinks oh! wants to win a massive one on four. That's two. All right, Spinks. Now we start to believe perhaps. Flash ain't great, but will allow him to move forward. He takes Sandwich steps to try and draw them into the fight. He wants these fights. He wants them to try and fight him and separate them into 1v1s. He wants to break them apart. Another one for Spinks, and now we're just down to Demo. Trying to take his team to a ninth round. Spinks wants 14, and he's climbed up on the balcony. A swift, intelligent reposition here. Spinks dies down to the site, gives him the pathway, Man. the only pathway. Then it comes in, but he's dodged it. Oh, Spinks nearly gets it, but Demo will close it out. The heart rates rise for Anonimo, but now they cool down. Really good attempt there again, right? So Spinks in the clutch this time round, but is going to be converted one more time. So these conversions of these tight, tight situations keep going in the favor of Anonimo. Is this frustration starting to build over there for Ents and the other way? 15 to 9 now. He, the French side, have almost done it. And actually the fourth tactical timeout called over here for the Polish squadron. Just want to have these last 30 seconds to have a discussion on how they can continue to keep closing things out here for the remainder of this matchup. It's going to have to be another half-buy scenario for Ents there. Max loss bonus is in play, so manage those finances and get a buy again. But as I'm talking about, the rounds keep building. Anonimo keep getting closer and closer. They're chasing him on down here. That lead is whittled on down now. Four consecutive, maybe even a fifth as they've dealt with these lighter pistol buys before. Can they do it again? I want to see what the call is here for Ents. Everyone pointed towards A. Looks like an A go for sure, right? Just uh, And I'm not talking about the Polish team. I'm talking about a... Uh, <laughs> Bit of an A execute. They've got plenty of smokes to do so. They've got the Molotovs as well. You can get that over towards the balcony position. Triple box in front of bench if it is a very standard execute here. Going to smoke off window just to deny that vision early. And lining this one up now is Hades. Well, he'd have taken out Anthropic. Here comes the play now from Ants. Smokes deploying into the site. Oscar Ish. Oh, he's going into the palace fight. Actually, it works out really well. Takes out Spinks and the rifle. That was a power position for this round. And Madden now having to rattle into play. That Tech 9 has got a pick, but no one else from Ants is finding ground, nor are finding kills up until this point for Snappy. Oh! <laughs> Runs through connector. Quick headshot, but recovered quite quickly there for an Onimo. Definitely threatening, right? That seems to be the story of this game. Very threatening scenarios, but handled again, again. They swat them away. They deny Ants the chance to get around on the board. And they will buy back in. A little chit-chat here, friends.
Yeah, they've taken a timeout. So Saul right now is probably going to be calling the play, wanting to give them a little bit of inspiration in what they could do to try and close this down because it didn't feel threatening before, but it definitely does now. I know it's still a three-round game, but this can get away from them so, so quickly and already has. So it's still a position of where just one round win is we get a little bit of shuffling of hand warmers there from Hades, keeping himself busy during this 30-second conversation. He's not going to be into the AK. And actually, for poor Spinks, it's going to be a Galil for him. So not the best of the buys. But they'll work with what they've got. Anonymo on fire currently. But here come the rifles that look to break down their door. It's been close in rounds for Entz. Very close to closing, but Anonymo have had the edge. Sindari goes up towards the back of the mid-boxes. Looks like it might be a bit slower with this one here. Taking the flash down mid, taking some control of middle. And actually accelerating a little bit here. Snappy getting up towards Cod. Yeah, gesturing that they're up close and personal as part of this default. Smoke is just going to bloom in time. Luckily, Innocent doesn't get the kill onto Hades, but Deha does onto Veggie. Now the play through the B apartment. Smoke from Spinks. Does he walk this? It would be ill-advised. He has got his teammates coming up short. They can pull the attention of Demo away. Spinks can now swing. Spinks will get the pick. Innocent has got one, but is now forced back by the Molly into the market, but he still has the avenue. He still has the, the window here to play with. And the bomb luckily has a fortunate bounce towards the site, but the kills for Anonymous keep coming in. Oscarage commits a kill for Madden, has drawn it back once again to the 2v2. Under a minute left as the bomb oh. finally makes its way over to the site, and Madden has caught Innocent in the doorway. It is Tudson trying to get them the clutch to continue the rounds going forward in this streak. He's picked up the rifle instead. Madden is holding for his cross. And Tudson has to go into the crosshair. Madden sharp. 14 rounds for Ants. Two away now from knocking their way forward to the major. That is actually a huge round to win because I just flew over towards CT spawn after the buys came in. I saw them juggling the guns across. They actually overbought in the last round. They actually bought a Famous that nobody used. Wow. Nobody carried okay. the Famous forward. So that's like two grand worth of cash money that isn't going to be able to be purchased into that's this next round of play. And now they're battling here against 15. That's so rough. Yeah, so that really does come back to haunt them here. An overbite from Anonimo in a pressure situation does come back to bite them in the ass. And they've been able to get out this 1M4 into the hands of Innocent. He needs to get a lot done with this. And what? Ooh, okay. Could have been looking at the radar. Could have been focusing elsewhere, but not able to connect the dots on that one at all. They are going to be able to tuck on out just in time from middle here. And... Veggie having a couple chances too on the Deagle to find this kill onto Madden. It feels like he should have been dead to right. A couple of occasions there, but Tudson is. Snappy gets that, and that's the first on their way to 15 now for Entz. Oh, Hedys. That is an awkward spray, and it hasn't gone his way. Innocent actually swings up from stairs with the distraction setup of his teammate and takes out Hedys. So we're back at a 4v4. Oscarish, does he give it back here to Spinks? Does he give the advantage again? Oh! Somehow the Deagle has landed the shot, and Spinks' his rifle now sits in the hands of Oscarish. And once again, a chance here for Anonimo. Madden and Connector trying to fight them out. There's a lot of damage going the way of the Polish side of Anonimo, but Bomb's going to go down here for Rance. And it's in a good pick. Snappy taken out. Madden doubling up now. Starting to break their hearts, perhaps, in this round. They thought there was a pathway. Barrel. Was barrel spotted. Madden turned. They're so low. But it's Diha looking to close this one now. They are so low. They're the walking wounded back into this one. And Diha should confirm the remaining two positions. Seeing the ramp player. Diha quickly shifts oh, up to the himself. left side. He mollied he himself. Mollied himself. Oh, and because he's low, nightmare. he can't move forward into it. Diha's just going to hold him in spot. Diha just holds the time ticking. Diha's just playing with his food now. It swings out with the headshot for Oscarish, but because of the wasted time, the molly costs him, and there's not enough time to get to the defuse. It's a heartbreaking way to concede 15, but it will be that fact now. Oh, the pressure of these last couple of rounds here, I think, have gotten to Anonimo. As you can see, very deflated looks on the faces now. Just one more round required. They have had their chances. Skarish has been getting the better of Spinks over towards that palace position. You get the, the, the force out of the purchases again here to Famous and MP9, a couple of Deagles and AK that was saved across. And this is it. Do or die right now. Or Entz will be getting this series done too. Oh, will be qualifying for that major. Will be locking themselves in. I think a lot of people would have said rightfully so. Yeah, I think so. Entz, one of the teams on everyone's time, hot off the back of the EPL final. 
here up against Anonymo, challenging for a major spot. Peggy swings out towards short. Madden has taken his life. Follow up kill from D has put at the opening towards B. And it looks like we're on our last legs of this game, Chad. Yeah, it's just been way too many opportunities given away in these last few rounds here. The overbuy of the Famous, the unforced Molly error right there. And now just two more staying alive as the Scarish gets something back. Madden will trade this out, but it is just innocent. He's been the hero of this team. Well, a swing, and he will be taken out. Ents are heading to the PGL Major in Antwerp. Not a large celebration from the team, as I'm sure they expected to go there as well. But they've got the job done. Uh, Madden seems to be happy enough about that. Uh, at least some fist bumps going about, but Ents, they're just uh, another day at the office here, getting the job done. Yeah, good attempt to come back there from Anonymo. They're not done just yet. They go down into the 2-2 bracket.